from the construction site to fruit picking fields, from the office to the care system to cleaning and beyond. EU migrants are a growing part of our workforce, so is that good or bad for our economy? Look for opinion on the streets of Britain and the economic questions around immigration are always there. Construction worker Aaron believes there's a real impact on jobs and wages. We're taking jobs away from English people. You think there might be? Yeah, That's definitely. how you perceive oh, it? Oh yeah, yeah. I think that definitely. I think the um, wages are a lot lower because of they'll do cheap labour. I mean, why would they want to employ someone for a certain amount when they can employ cheaper labour and get the same amount of work? Back in 1993, 7.2% of working people in the UK were born overseas. By 2014, that figure had more than doubled to 16.7%, but some of those had become British citizens. As far as foreign citizens are concerned, the figure, including from the EU, is 10.5% of our workforce, basically 1 in 10. That's possibly lower than some perceive, but is the impact of workers coming from our European neighbours doing any damage? But at the moment we have the very worst of all worlds. We have an unlimited supply of labour from the European Union, which is having a downward pressure on wages, which is causing businesses not to invest in productivity, which then leads to a low wage, low productivity economy. But as ever, each opinion on matters Europe is matched by a counter view. There's no evidence for real displacement of British workers from skilled workers coming to the UK. In fact, filling the gaps that we have in, in skill shortage actually create more jobs here in the UK. What's important though is we don't lose focus on both improving our own education and skill system here and accessing the best talent from around the world. At the Envirovent factory, where they make ventilation systems, the idea of a multinational workforce has long been embraced. It includes Samuel from Angola, Martina from Lithuania, Magda from Poland, Philip from Portugal, and the list goes on. Of the 200 or so staff, one in five is from overseas, mostly the EU. The staff chart on the wall here paints its own picture, and Simao from Portugal paints his own immigration success story. Sometimes we don't have these kind of opportunities in our own countries, and that's what I found here in, um, in England. It was a good opportunity. Um, obviously, I had to make an extra effort for it to, to learn the language, um, and really to, to prove myself here. Yeah. An exclusive Five News survey reveals that 58% of people believe EU economic migrants should only come to Britain if they already have work lined up. At this factory, they say the multinational mix of mines makes for a progressive business. Different skills, different ways of thinking, everybody's been brought up differently, different backgrounds, different perspectives, so uh, it, it's all combination of all these factors. Foreign staff here pay their taxes and spend into the UK economy, all part of the equation, and countrywide only 3% of benefit payments go to out-of-work EU migrants. EU migrants make up only a few percent at most of the total benefit bill and certainly considerably less than their representation in the working age population. Um, overall, EU migrants almost certainly pay in considerably more than they get out of the system as a whole. There are so many component parts to the debate on immigration. This is one growing business where for years now different nationalities have come together to work together. Peter Lane, 5 News.